Hey, Throttle, watch me blow past that snort from Saturn. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm the baddest motorcycle mama jamma in the universe. <laughs> Modest, too. Ah, this is living. Nothing to do but rocking and rolling and racing through the cosmos. We got absolutely no problem. Sir, target identified as a cyclodrome thunderpipe, used only by the cave mouse population from the planet Mars. Impossible. Weren't all Martian mice destroyed during the Plutarchian occupation of Mars? I wonder. Gonna blow that ship to the seven scattered galaxies now! Somebody out there doesn't like us. Yeah, those somebody's look a lot like Plutarchians. I can almost smell them from here. Looks like we've crossed with one of their destroyers. Vape them. What do you say we fry the fins off those stink faces? Do it. One fish face barbecue coming up! Oh, man! Vincent. It works better if you shoot before the weapon flies out the door. Yeah, well, um, timing's everything. So what are we gonna do? Well, that's easy. <laughs> We're going down! steering. Whoa! Imminent destruction! What a rush! Moto, get him ready to eject. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. In this wild and woolly universe of ours, there's only three things you can count on. Your brains, your bros, and your bike. Helmets on! It's time to rock and ride! And as Chicago takes the field... Holy Toledo! What place is that? Hey, nice reception! Who told him we were coming? Rope it in, Vinny. We didn't mean to cause any trouble, citizens. <laughs> okay, boys, kick it! Give me your money, Jack. Now. <gasps> hey, sweetheart. You didn't really plan on hurting anyone with this thing, did you? No, sir. Good. Then if you don't mind... I gotta go now. I think I hear my mom calling me. Nice trick, eh, citizen? Thanks, mister. Here, have a dog. Dog, eh? I've heard of these. I'll check it out. Ride free, citizen. <gasps> Pardon me. Um, have you any gray bouban? You see any way off of here? The usual. Let's roll! Hold him up. 
Hey, listen to this. Ah, busted gyro. No sweat, sweetheart. We find us a cycle parts shop, and I'll have it fixed pronto. I don't know. We've been on these streets for miles, and I haven't seen a repair pit yet. Keep looking, Moto. You know, there's something strangely familiar about this place. And it's not exactly a happy memory. I mean, check it out. Nothing but miles of deep craters and crumbling buildings. Yeah, but look at the bright side. What bright side? That bright side. I'll scope it out. Tell your slimy boss that I don't care how much money he has. The last chance garage is mine, and it's not for sale. You is not being wise, lady. Mr. Limburger wants this land. And what Lawrence Limburger wants, Lawrence Limburger gets! Listen, you overgrown grease monkey. You got ten seconds to vacate this place. I'm gonna vacate your face! <laughs> oh, I'm shaking, lady. You see me shaking? <laughs> uh, why don't you just lose off and tell your slimy boss that he can just shove it? What the heck? My lift needed a grease job anyway. Yous are starting to annoy me big time. <laughs> Maybe now you'll see Mr. Limburger's generous offer in a new light. Say there, citizen. Why don't you leave the lady alone? Huh? And who's gonna make me, wrench face? Who's gonna make me? Hey, <laughs> who's gonna make me is my middle name. I'm gonna make you. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> uh, what's the matter? The little bitty baby biker hurt himself? <laughs> Get up and fight, you loser. What are you, a man or a mouse? Yo, mouse. You got a problem with that? This is one crummy place you got here. It's crawling with rats. Rat! My mama didn't raise no stinking rat. Understand? It's tail whipping time. Let's take this wrench head down. Hey! Time to roll, sweetheart! Mr. Limburger ain't gonna like this! Talk about your slippery customers. <laughs> yeah, they could call him the Duke of Oil. <laughs> Duke, 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 Duke of oil, 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 oil. Guys, 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 oil. guys, 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 you're off key. <laughs> what, <laughs> what would you do if we sang a bad tune? tune? <laughs> <laughs> I give up. You okay, ma'am? Don't you come any closer, you, you! Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 don't break a nail. We just came in to get my bike fixed. Yeah, we're the good guy. Talk about no appreciation. I don't believe this. I've just been saved by a bunch of giant... Gerbils? Mice, ma'am. We're mice. Mice? You were expecting turtles, maybe? Mice. With antennas. And biker clothes. And motorcycles. Don't and... forget your basic studly bods. I've seen better. Maybe. But not with this much charm. Where on earth did you guys come from? Mars. 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 Mars? Is there an echo in here? I don't think she likes our answers. Mars. Right. I don't believe this. I think you guys better explain yourselves. Okay, look, it's a long story. You see, our planet was invaded by a race of smelly stink faces called Plutarchians. Here, I'll show you. Now, the Plutarchians wanted our land, right? Seems they wasted all their own natural resources, so they go around strip mining the cosmos. So they blew up your planet? Nah, they bought up our planet, tore the place apart, and dug up the land to ship back to Plutarch. Right. Well, the mice population fought back, but most of us were wiped out. Moto here gave his arm to the cause. Vinny got half his face taken off. That's why he wears the mask. Yeah, but that's okay, because what's left is definitely grade A mouse material. In your dreams, pal. You know, the way you guys describe what these, uh, Plutarchians did to your planet. 
I think you ought to check something out. From the looks of things, I'd say they're here. soil will be mine. Then New York, Paris, Hamburg, Detroit. Well, maybe not Detroit. Those Motor City maniacs are a little too crazy for me. But one day... Uh, sorry, boss. Grease pit. Dear boy. Yes, boss? You're dripping on my carpet! <laughs> Sorry, boss. Just try and get good help these days. Now, as I recall, I sent you to purchase the last chance garage. Is this correct? Uh, yes, boss. And I believe you were then to demolish it? That's right, boss. Then why is it still there? It, it wasn't my fault, boss. Honest. You see, there were these big mice. Mice? On motorcycle. Yeah. Not again. I had a belly full of those revolting rodents on Mars. Carbuncle. Yes, your big cheese in Do you recall those mice who escaped your laboratory on Mars? The three leaders of that pathetic rebellion. Yes. Most frustrating. I had barely started experimenting on them when they got away. Hey, Doc, how about forearms? Then I could clap in stereo. Oh, shut up. Carbuncle, pay attention. Those biker rebels have now come to Earth, and I want to know what you are going to do about it. Well, your cheddar cheeviness. If you wish to catch a mouse, you must build a better mouse trap. Excellent. Now all we need is the bait. <laughs> <laughs> That ought to do it. Huh, not bad. You're a pretty good bike jockey. Best in Chi-Town. By the way, your weapons look like they could use a little improvement, so I put in a few extras. Extras? Like what? Like that. Ooh, I like it, sweetheart. I like it. Thanks. I live for your approval. I better go out and get those back before they fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> hey, buddies, we're honing some chrome and rattling the roadways on WBKR. Sweet Georgie Brown banging heads with metal rock and roll from Guns and Noses. Ah, what'd I tell you guys? Is this guy, Sweet Georgie Brown, the baddest DJ in the universe or what? Sweet. Hey, what's taking Charlie Girl so long? Yo, biker bunnies. All those gopher teeth of yours out here. I got something for you. Oh, no, it's a trap! <laughs> Shut up, you. Come on, what's the matter? Cat got your tails? <laughs> Jeez, don't these guys ever use doors? Let her go, oil breath. You touch me, and I pull this string. And your friend, she goes. Snap. All right, bros. Left flank roll. No, guys. Number three. Maybe we should think it over before you... Hit it! Oh, jeez! Gotcha, sweetheart. Have I got style or what? What you got is bad breath. You been eating onions again, huh? The story of my life. No appreciation. Hey! Three against one ain't fair. Now you listen up, oil breath. 
You just take a message back to your boss for us. What message? You tell him the biker mice from Mars are in town, and the party's over. You got that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Now it's time to go. Oh, no. Got her dead. Hey, like they say back at Quigley Field, batter up! Here's the wind-up. And the pitch! Mr. Limburger isn't gonna like this! Yes! Doodles. Can't anyone do anything around here? Must I have to do everything myself? <laughs> yes, your supreme cheesiness. Your mousetrap was less than a success. If you can't take care of those repulsive rodents, we're through on this planet. Well, if one has rats in the attic, there's but one thing to do. Exterminate them. Hey, Charlie says this is where we'll find that Lawrence Limburger clown. No time to pop in for a little visit. Battle mode, bros. We're gonna rock the walls off this joint. Yo, party time! Man, I want one of those. Uh. What's that? It's an attack! Activate defenses! You know, man, I don't think Limburger's exactly happy to see us. Uh-oh. Company. Spread. Rip me of these bothersome vermin! <gasps> it's just so hard to find good help these days. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, I smell blue tarky. Oh, uh, you could tell. I must have the air conditioning repaired at once. Huh? Yes, my boy. <laughs> How very nice of you to remember. Oh, I remember all right. I remember how you took my arm, but I got you another one. <laughs> very interesting invention. And speaking of inventions... <gasps> I have one you might like to meet. Exterminator. Hasta la vista, rodents. Well, well. It seems that it's time to say goodbye to our guests. I gotta tell you, it's been a treat, fellas, but it's time for us to rock and roll! Kick it, bros! You guys take Limburger's goon squad. I'll handle the big fella. Oh. What a flat head. Looks like I cornered me a big fat guy. Rats to you, pal! It's been real, sweethearts, but now it's time for Lights Out! Oh. Yes! Double play! Come and get me, Tin Man! End of the road, Rodin.
I'll be back. Yeah, well, don't forget to ride. It's gonna take a long time to mend that mangled mess of metal. <sighs> Typical. Just great. Well, if you're stuck here on Earth, this place will make as good a hideout as any. What, here? In the scoreboard? Why not? Limburger and his grease goons would never think to look for you here. Well, she's got a well now that we got the bachelor pad thing together, what do you say we grab a little chow? I know a great cheese shop downtown. Oh, get uh, it cool, Eddie. Come on. Where do you think we are, anyway? Uh, mice. I was thinking maybe a few root beers. A couple of dogs. Okay, group. Then let's... I got this one, sweetheart. Okay, you mamma jammas. Let's rock and ride! where this came from. Limber. It's them hog riding hamsters, boss. What you want I should do with them? What else, dear boy? Tear them up. Postpone that lunch, bros. We're about to get munched. guy stuff. Remember? Oh, I'm a wild man! Get them! Get them! Fight dirty if you have to! Funny, that was just what I had in mind. Uh -oh. My first taste of real estate, and I'm not sure I like it. That's more like it. Luke, now just stay cool, motor boy. Don't lose your head. Yeah! We ain't gonna let you ruin this planet the way you did Mars! <laughs> you reeking cheese face! You wretched rodents won't be around to stop me! Hold on, fire me a line. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? A tow line, Shecky. 
Oh, right. I knew that. Lindberger down to Earth. I'll go right. You go left. Now, split left. No, the other left. Yeah! He shines. He's safe. There. Hog time. Came. We saw. Lee whips up tail. Yeah! <laughs> Infernal biker mice. How could this day possibly get worse? Attention, attention. Urgent call for Lawrence Lindberger from Blue and I Chairman. This is how. Greetings, Lord Camembert. It is a pleasure to see you looking so repulsive. Never mind the pleasantries, Limburger. Has your stay on Earth caused you to forget the traditional Plutarchian greeting? Oh, please, Your High Chairmanship. Uh, couldn't we just dispense with... Limburger, may I remind you that I am your supreme leader? Now get to it! <sighs> chick to chick and stink to stink As Plutarch rules the galaxy shrinks <laughs> That's better. Now to business. You're a worthless failure, Limburger! Earth should have been mined to dust by now! What's taking you so long? Uh, uh, a few delays, uh, a few setbacks, uh, union problems. I assure you it's all under control now. It better be, because I'm on my way there personally to pick up the next shipment of Earth resources. You better have something pretty impressive to deliver! You may rest assured, High Chairman. I, I will. No, do not worry. Oh, I'm not worried. But you'd better be. I want a huge shipment. Or else... Oh, my reeking insoles. The High Chairman's coming in person, and he has such impressive ways of showing his displeasure if I fail. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Grease pit! Get in here! What? You wanted to see me, boss? No, but sometimes I have to. Listen, you greasy poltroon. The High Chairman of Plutarch is arriving next week in person. I need to deliver him something really big in the way of dirt. But what can it be? What can it possibly? Of course! Chicago! I'll rip up the entire city and deliver it personally to the High Chairman. That will knock his foul-smelling socks off. But, boss, they'll never let you bite the whole city. Who said anything about buying? I'm simply going to take it. The city of Chicago and the biker mice. Soon both will be gone. Forever! <laughs> This is it, City Hall. Doors open. Quick, get your helmets on. Let's go. Smile, throttle. We're on candid camera. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Knock, knock. What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that you're coming for a little ride with us, Mr. Mayor. But first, say cheese. Oh. That's it. Let's get out of here. Film at 11. And that was Motor Brain Bros with their latest release. Next up, more metal noise with Speed Buggy. <laughs> Music. He's up! He 
shoot! Belly! Ooh! Ow! In your face! The awesome Vinny fires from downtown! Didn't I tell you boys raising the hoops make the game more exciting? Put that away! No guns? Shoot! I thought the next game was gonna be a real blast! Sweetheart, we were jamming to that. Not anymore. Listen to this. Authorities have confirmed that Mayor Wes Weekly was kidnapped last night from his office at City Hall. The mayor's been kidnapped. Hey, this kind of thing could make me mad. Wait, that's not all. This video security camera was able to record the felons in the act. They appear to be bikers. Hey, that looks like me. Now I'm really mad. We're being framed. That's Grease Pit in the moto suit. Fortunately, the city's leading citizen, Lawrence Limburger, has stepped in to serve as acting mayor. No way! The big cheese is now head cheese? That makes me more than just mad. Now, I'm mad as... Hello, fellow citizens of Chicago. I'm in charge here. And as your new acting mayor, rest assured that I shall not let these miscreants go unpunished. My newly appointed chief of police is under orders to have them arrested on sight. Man, I knew politics was a stinky business, but I never thought it'd reek like this. It's no joke, Moto. Limburger's now mayor, and he's got the police after you. You guys are in trouble. Not as much trouble as he's in. It's time to whip some tail. Now, just a minute. For once, I agree with Vinny. Guys, the mayor. Shouldn't we rescue the mayor first? Time enough for that after we make Limburger into a rotten cheese omelet. Let's rock and ride! <laughs> Riding off to save the world by blowing up everything in sight. Meanwhile, I have to do the real work, finding out what Limburger's up to. There's them rodents now. Let's bust their tails. All right, you goons, make like the fuzz and wail. Uh-oh, a cop. No, not a real cop. That's Grease Pit and his goons. Let's lose him. It's time to rock and ride! Fair Chicago, crown jewel of the Midwest. Now I am your mayor, and soon you shall be gone! <laughs> Carbuncle! Yes, your cheese topping now. Are you ready to teleport in our new assistant? Ready, your velvety smoothness. Then do it. Let's play this smooth and subtle. Anybody got a plan? I say we blast our way in, smash everything in sight, blow Carbuncle through a wall, and then grab Limburger and pound his face until he releases the mayor! Mm. Smooth, subtle, I like it. Hit it, Rose! Ah, good of you to pop in, Vermin. As the acting mayor, I've just finished ordering your destruction. <laughs> oh, me too! Me too! <laughs> Shut up, snowball. Dr. Carbuncle, would you please introduce our guest to our newest business associate? <laughs> Gladly, your thick sliciness. <gasps> Biker mice from Mars meet Electromag. <laughs> Electromag, why don't you demonstrate your magnetic powers? No! Hey! Very good, Electromag. 
But don't keep our guests in suspense. Just carry out my official order. Obliterate them. Nice office. Let's test the construction, biker mice. <laughs> inevitable denouement. But duty calls. Business before pleasure, after all. And it's time to put the next step of my plan into action. Miss Colpit, come in here, please. Oh, I hate short skirts. Oh, oh, oh spike heels. <laughs> you called, Mr. Mayor? What is this? You're not Miss Colpit. She quit. Something about the stink in here. Oh, is it noticeable? <laughs> and now then, to business. I take a memo, please. Yes, sir. To the citizens of Chicago. As your acting mayor, I have decided in the interest of the public good to proceed with the digging of a new subway system. Unfortunately, the local Diamond Mart is directly in the way. Therefore, I'm officially <laughs> declaring the Diamond Mart condemned. Demolition will begin immediately. Immediately? But that's an occupied building. You can't do that. I'm the mayor now, remember? Chicago is all mine. This is tougher than a motocross race during a demolition derby. More fun, too. <laughs> Father. Just ahead, bros. We'll give that magnetic monster a taste of his own juice. End of the power line, by a mice. Time to show you my attractive personality. Working. All the steel in here is diverting his magnetic power. He needs more toys. Let's load him up. Time to wrap this baby up. Lips are a galactic treasure. Who would be if you had any? They're mice with lips. What's next? Chipmunks that sing? Ah, button up and fry. We still gotta make fondue out of the head cheese. Guess again. We got more trouble. <laughs> Excellent. My plan is right on schedule. When the high chairman arrives, I will deliver him the entire city of Chicago. So what now? 
Uh, should I let the mayor go? Not yet, you anxious oaf. We still need the power of this office. Keep the mayor hostage in the old scissor warehouse until my plan is complete. <gasps> I've got to tell the guys. I thought I heard something. A spy, eh? And look who it is. It's that thing who's got a thing for biker mice. Grab her! Come back here, you! Forget it, Mayor Stinkface. You're heading for a fall. <laughs> hey there. You're destroying property and endangering people. And that makes us mad. You want to rumble? We're ready. Oh, we're out of here. Oh, they're running away. It's my Clint Eastwood squint. Gets him every time. Hmm. What is it, Throttle? Diamonds. Limburger's goons were stealing a truck full of diamonds. But why? One thing's sure, he doesn't need the money. No way he's getting engaged. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. And I've got a feeling we won't like the answer. Guys, guys! Charlie girl! Whoa, going for a new look? It's a disguise. Disguise schmice? I like it. Turn around, let me see the back. Will you clam up and listen to me? I know where Limburger's hiding the mayor. You do? Where? The old scissor warehouse on the edge of town. The scissor warehouse? Time to cut to the chase. We've got to hurry. You sure this is the place? Positive. I heard Limburger say it himself. Then we'll just let my fingers do the knocking. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Mayor, sir? I don't like the looks of this place. What looks? I can't see nothing. Say, do you smell... Grease? Grease pit! That's police chief Grease Pit for you, Mike Mice. Oh, by the way, yous is under arrest. little mind, boys. Guess we'll just have to remind him. Politely, of course. How about no hands maneuver number five? Oh, can't we do number three instead? I look so cool in that one. <sighs> number five, Vincent. 
Now! Yeah. My favorite story, a tale of two turkeys! Get off my back, wrench head! Ugh. Goons like you make me want to hurl! Didn't your mamas ever tell you boys not to play with pop guns? You might get hurt. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wise. Now I'm gonna be real polite and ask you again, oil breath. Let the lady go. No, no way. You're not a chance, Rodin. Did he? No! <laughs> ah, missed me, mousey. Well, some days you catch the mouse. Some days the mouse catches you. <laughs> Breaks. Okay, you're out of here, Charlie. Not without you guys, I'm not. Hey, listen, just because Grease Pit goes back in his deal doesn't mean we do, babe. He's still the law. Just get our bikes to save me before these grease balls wake up. Hey, where's those renegade rodents? We'll be fine. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Try and escape, huh? Oh, yeah. You're a real lawman, you are. What an unple... What a delightful surprise. Oh, yes? So where is the traditional Plutarchian greeting? Oh, really, Your High Chairmanship, I'm not feeling quite up to it. No! Cheek to cheek and stink to stink as Plutarch grows the galaxy shrinks. <laughs> now that the formalities are over, uh, might I inquire the purpose of your call, your overtness? Just checking up, Limburger. After all, I shall be arriving tomorrow. You will have some serious strip mining done by then, won't you? Uh, excuse me, your ampleness. What is it? I, I got the vice boss in jail. Listen, let me tell you how I... Go on, Limburger. You were mentioning some... Problems? Problems? Oh, no, your considerableness. No problems. No problems at all. As a matter of fact, I intend to deliver the entire city of Chicago directly to your stench carrier. Oh. Well, congratulations. But I warn you, Limburger, this time you'd better deliver! Uh, uh, <clears throat> Carbuncle! You called your overripeness? Yes. How is the digging machine coming? Almost completed, your succulent richness. Then all I need is a driver, someone experienced in burrowing underground. I anticipated just such a brainstorm from you, and I have the answer, your individually wrapped sliciness. Behold! An old rat. Are you insane? Another mouse? Mouse? <laughs> That's a mouse. I'm a rat. I eat mice for breakfast. Yeah. 
like him. <laughs> uh, these heinous felons, Your Honor, done kidnapped the most honorable mayor, blew up your basic diamond moth, was trespassing mid malice a fort pot on the local steel foundry, uh, and, and, and held up a toy store, yeah, and, and, and resisted arrest. Yeah, that's it. Put him away for life. Uh. Man, this guy's testimony is as dirty as he is. It's unfair. And unfair makes me unhappy. Stand aside. What are you gonna do, big fella? You're not a lawyer. No, but I've seen every single episode of L.A. Law three times. <clears throat> Your Honor, I have an objection. Uh, yes? What is it? Your Honor, as it was clearly shown that the Diamond Mart was being demolished previous to our arrival, it clearly falls under the clause of uh, postum in tropicum. We weren't responsible. What are you and saying? And ipso facto, since we were in the process of attempting a rescue of the mayor... Got all this from TV? Yeah, too bad there's no commercial break. No way we could have held up the alleged toy store in question. It would have been much too heavy. Quid ergo demonstrata. Your Honor, I have concluded my defense. Yes, yes, yes. brilliant testimony, I think. Uh, this court finds you three not guilty. You're free to go. Please. Guys, I came as fast as I could, but I'm still trying to find a lawyer. I... Uh, lo lawyer? No, no more lawyers, please. They are free to go. And as soon as possible. Free to go, huh? That's what you stay. I'll just have to rescues again. Hot at this time. You'll have to catch us first, Grease Dump. And we're not sticking around. But you are. Hey! Get these things off of me! Blast you blasted biker mice! Yeah! Listen, guys. Whatever Limburger's up to, it's gonna happen soon. He's building something big at a secret factory just outside town. Hmm, I don't know what it is. But if Limburger's part of it... You know it's gonna stink. Come on, bros. Time to rock and ride! <laughs> the big cheese ain't gonna like this. <laughs> this is it, your cheesiness. The digging machine. With the stolen diamonds as its teeth, it can chew through anything. <laughs> But is it big enough? Oh, yes. Big enough to strip mine all Chicago in a single day. Say farewell to Chicago, gentlemen. Because by this time tomorrow, the Windy City will be gone with the wind. <laughs> Get this contraption moving. I've got a city to steal. One moment. I need something to join these power cables. Oh, oh, me, me. Use me, please. <laughs> oh, all right. Just as a special treat. Oh, what a charge. <laughs> Raton. Raton. Ready to dig. Let's do it. Hold the train, Limburger. You're not giving the shaft to Chicago if we can help it. You operate under a gross misconception. You see, you're not going to be able to stop me, you repulsive rodents. Hey! <clears throat> a present company accepted, of course. So, rat. Now get them, you miscreants. Hey, this is where we came in. Hit the highway, bros. Shoulders is now mine to mine. Man, these guys are a pain in my tail. Hey, let's throw them for a loop. Hang on, Charlie girl. Are you guys crazy? Ah! Be how things look in China. Take out the papers and the trash, or you don't get no bacon. Well, they certainly look at home there. But where's Limburger and that big machine? Now I got a stinking feeling Limburger's more underfoot than ever. Oh, rat. Can you dig it? This is so much 
fun. It should be rated X for excavation. <laughs> Activating soil transport to space holding bins. No! <laughs> Look, Matt! Wonderful. On to Chicago. You know, we could have come out that other hole we blasted when we went in. <laughs> Are you kidding? Where's the fun in that? Fun's over, guys. Look! Lindbergh undermining the whole city. If he reaches the buildings with people in them... Mm, looks like Lindbergh is finally getting into heavy rock. Which means we gotta roll. Grab the rest of those leftover diamonds and follow me! How gratifying. Reminds me of the final days in Mars. I must tell the High Chairman. Limburger, what do you want? I'm in my bath. Well, all right. Uh, let's dispense with the greeting this time, shall we? Oh, just this once. Have you called to report your failure? Not at all. The entire city of Chicago is crumbling at this very moment. I can absolutely guarantee you delivery. You better, because if you don't, you'll be cleaning my whole stench carrier with your tongue! Not to worry, you asinine aristocrat. Not even the biker mice can possibly stop me now. Lindbergh's machine is headed straight for Sweet Georgie Brown's radio station. The fiend! Must be a country western fan. Now that's the final dig. Now I'm mad. Yeah, Lindbergh's fighting dirty now. No overgrown cheese mold chops, my favorite radio station. Hope these new modifications work. <laughs>
digging machines dead ahead. Prepare for Operation Bullfight. A cub, Uncle? They're coming right at us. Uh, emergency procedures? Carbuncle sends him back to whatever rat hole he crawled out of. Okay, now that we've trapped the rat, it's time for the cheese. No malfunction! The controls are dead! No! I have to have control! I'm the mayor! Not for long, Limburger. Your days as head cheese are over. Not so fast. Politics is a power game, Rodent. And in this game, I still hold the winning hand. Yahoo! Never fear! Biddy's here! It's an honor to give you a ride, Your Honor. Get him to safety, Vinny. We'll wrap things up here. Back to work, little buddy. Oh, yay! Oh, good! Is that do it? <laughs> Let's bail. What? Where are we headed? No! Not my tower! No! Save not only my life, but our city as well. Ah, shucks, it was nothing. Eh, no big deal. Just doing our duty as citizens. No, I must reward you. Okay. okay. How about free passes to the opera? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, the key to the city? Uh, an invitation to the policeman's ball? Uh, parking validations? Nah, that's okay. Well, then I'm sorry. All I have left are coupons for free hot dogs and root beer. Done deal! We'll take them! Ride free, citizen. Now, yeah. Ride free. Hurry up. I have to get out of here before. Uh, oh, no. Oh, too late! So you failed after all. What do you have to say for yourself, Limburger? Um, may I offer my traditional Plutarchian respects to your... <laughs> There's the crew's bathroom. Now get to work! All right, free hot dogs! Fruit beer! And rock and roll! Party! 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 Not so fast. You guys aren't getting off that easy. What? This city's a mess. We've all got to pitch in and help clean it up. But, but... Hey, babe, we saved the city, remember? Doesn't that get us off the hook? Not if you're good citizens, it doesn't. She's right, bro. This job's not over yet. Oh, man, I knew fighting underground was going to be a dirty job, but this is ridiculous. Clean it up the city, going down, down, down. Clean it up the city, woo! We got to get down. Honestly. <laughs>
What a night. Quiet. Restful. Boring. Boring. Hey, bros, here's the problem. Yeah. That's music to get my torque wrench cooking. You're cooking with too much grease, then. This crankcase reeks! Innocence! Steam cleaned everything. That's grease, all right. Rancid grease. And that can only mean... Grease it! Be careful, you misprint! <laughs> that bomb could flatten the Sears Tower! Don't worry, I got it, I got it! <laughs> Oops. I'll bet that really smarts, huh, Chrome Dome? Hey, yous is the inventor. I ain't the one that forgot the handle. This is a bomb, not luggage, you babbling oil slick. Well, if it ain't the degenerate duo. Sleaze brain and sludge. You boys looking for something? Like trouble, maybe? Uh, no, no. <laughs> we were just on our way to, um, the, the repair shop. That's it, yes. This idiot got us lost. Now grease it, you lout. Bring along that, uh, the, the toaster oven. And we'll be off. Hold it, my fucking... You ain't going anywhere. Oh, yes, I is. But you ain't. Whoa! The top 60 countdown! There, Moto. Hey, bros! <laughs> well, I got something kind of explosive I'd like to get off my chest. We've got less than a minute to get this off him. Or Vinny gets a one-way ticket back to Mars. practice and I'm not sure you have the time hmm got a favorite color wise guy blue like your eyes babe my eyes are green whoops whoops is right Guess I won't get my picture on the cereal box, huh? <laughs> He's gonna be mouse meat salad. Yes, inexactly. Huh? One second. Bye bye. Yes. As soon as those two dolts have returned, I want to see them in my office. A.S.A. Uh, I hate to drop in on you like that, boss. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it would seem you have failed. Again. You have failed, as you always have failed, completely. Do you know what this means? We get to go union? No. It means that I have to pay for outside help! Is that bad? 
It shall be deducted from your pay. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. I never get paid. And at that price, you're overpriced. My dear diseased degenerate doctor. Yes, your cream cheesiness. Activate the transport. Set it for the lowest, the vilest, the most disgusting team of twisted evil enforcers Plutarch ever produced. Not the Smurfs! Dismiss those small timers from your mind. I'm speaking of the scum of the universe. Bring me the Loogie Brothers. Uh, not the Loogie Brothers! Who are the Loogie Brothers? Uh, I don't know. Say, do you get paid? <laughs> it's a perfect day for football here at Quigley Field. All of Tampa Bay's fans are here. Coach Mike Ditto and the Grizzlies have won the toss and have elected to receive. Nice kick. Ooh, hard hit, bros. No guts, no glory. Well, that player was packed full of glory then. They're bringing out mops. That should have gone long. Come on, bros. Let's show them how it's done. You got it. Down and out. Heads up. Oh. oh, them cockroaches make the biggest holes I ever seen. Ow! Oh, he's on the third, the fourth, the fifth. He's a tank. Nothing can stop him. But wait, but wait. He's finished. Touchdown? Yeah, more like a squash down. I could make a big play for you, though. Oh, let me up, you lummoxes. You just sacked your lunch. Oh, we junked our junk food. Yeah, looks like it was quite a spread. I just spent 20 minutes in line to get those hot dogs. Just once I wish you fuzz faces would go get your own munchies. You know, one good look at us would sure cut down the lines. Speak for yourself, bro. I'm sorry, Charlie. It's all my fault. But would you mind? Oh, all right. I'll get some more. Just watch the horseplay. Some of us aren't half metal, you know. Twenty <laughs> hot dogs. Great. Now, how about some mustard? A big bottle. show it stinks man something does anyway we know you are here somewhere biker mice we know you cannot resist the football game we are hacker and hanka the loogie brothers and we want to tear you up we are the scum of the universe yeah for three years running <laughs> 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 Swell. You can keep the title, boys. But nobody messes with our ball game. Especially Plutarchy and Stinkfish like you. Time to rumble, bros. Deep space mode. Yeah. Whew. Keep the stink out. Let's rock and ride!
This is tasty. Look out! That was a close one. This is closer. <gasps> Give it up, skunk boys. What the heck happened? We happened! <laughs> yeah, and you are a hostage. Hey! Hold back, bros. We've got Charlie. Time to regroup, Honka! I'm with you, Haka! We'll be back to stink you up! Let me go, you rotting carcasses! Whatever you want, lady! <laughs> Not now! Charlie's doing the ass bulk dive! Vinny, fire up! Bang! I'm gone! No! Trajectory's off! Ready, Interceptor! This better work or Charlie's street pizza! Gotcha! <laughs> Wonderful! So who's got you? Don't sweat it, babe! This is standard hero work! Yo, bike! Throw us a line! Make it like a trout, Charlie. We're gonna get real. Yeah, ready to cook! Stash those spatulas, bros. Meet the catch of the day. <laughs> Real glad you're not sidewalk souffle, Charlie. Yeah, would have made me sad. Besides, you owe us lunch. Aw, you guys are all jerks. But you're still the greatest. Hey, don't get too happy yet, babe. Ugh, those putrid punks, the loogies, are still out there. No telling what sordid stunt they and Limburger are gonna pull next. Hello, uh, yes, uh, yes, I, I'm very sorry about the smell. Hello, I'll uh, look into it. Hello? Uh, no, no, I believe it's a sewer pipe. Maybe we should evacuate the building. Hello? No, it's not me. Oh, this really cheeses me off. Carbuncle! Um, <laughs> Carbuncle, my dear deviate. What in the name of Plutarch are you doing? And why, pray tell me, are those flatulent failures still polluting my building? A two-part question. My favorite kind. Well, this machine is measuring the Loki's, um, <laughs> intense odor. Apparently their stench rises in accordance to the amount of earth junk food they eat. As to part two of your question, they won't leave because they love Earth junk food. It's a vicious cycle, to put it mildly. At their current rate of consumption, they could literally stink up the entire city. No, 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 no! We have to do something. I'm a Plutarchian, and even I'm ready to lose my lunch. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fill her up! <laughs> Where do it run? Yummy noms! <laughs> do you see that? That's the most disgusting, abhorrent, odious... Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, pardon me, my dear Dr. Carbuncle. Did I hear you say they could stink up the entire city? Oh, that's it! It'll work! Eat up, my lads! You're eating for Lawrence Limburger now! <laughs> It's working. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, but of course I knew that. Oh, yes. Oh, run. Run, you fools. Flee the diabolical brilliance of Lawrence Limburger. And while you're all running to Peoria, I'll gut Chicago. <laughs> I 
smell something. Well, don't look at me. Yeah, I had a bath last week. No, no, this smells like trouble. Big trouble, like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, reek city rolling bros. <laughs> Grab your helmets. <laughs> Oh, that stink was worse than a bus station bathroom. You guys okay? Charlie took a direct hit to the nose. Old factory overload. She's out for the duration, guys. We can't wait. Something's rotten in the city of Chicago. We know what that means. Limburger. Let's rock and ride! They think they stinks. They should try working without pay for a while. That's what really stinks. Whoops, more repression at the working class. Hey, Mr. Limboiker, we got mice. Well then, dear boy, exterminate them. Do I get paid for that? Certainly. I'll double your salary. Now, move! You got it, Mr. L. Wow, I used to get paid nothing. Now I'll get twice as much. It's speeding up. Oh, please. Hey, no one can outrun the baddest motorcycle mamma jamma from Mars. That's why they call him the leader on the track. That's a lot, bros. Keep on him. Heading for the freeway. You have to do better than that. Man, I was born riding the freeway. Not like this. The wrong way. On a one way. Rose. Don't kiss the pavement. I never kiss on the first date. Yeah, like I believe that. Hey, you made a cool line, all right? You take the high road and I'll take the low road. And I'll see Chicago before you. Those rotten rodents are actually gaining on us. Yugi's! Get out there and stop them! Oh, can't move. Too many roast poodles. That's hot dogs, you bloated scum of the universe. Treatment! Get this thing off the freeway now! But I'm losing the bike, my boss. Just do it! I think I'm gonna... And look for a car wash. What the heck? Wild rides. Wow. Holy moly! Senior citizens bladder fest. Nobody runs over old ladies while I'm around. You okay, man? Good. Sorry about that rude driver, man. I'll take care of him. As my dear old great furred mama used to say. Courtesy is the rule of the road. Ride free, citizen! <laughs> Waste those wicked mama jammers, bike boy! Playtime's over. Flank them and skank them. We're in place, Moto. Hit it with your best shot. My pleasure! I want you to be a good boy and apologize to that nice old lady you almost ran down. Like, right now. Greasebit! What's happening up there? Afraid Greasebit had to step out for a minute, Limburger. So we're your designated drivers. Just one, fish face. Adios! Let's go! Cause that stink is gonna blow! Yeah! Yep, that's my guys. Always going for the big finish. No bigger blast than a blast off, eh, bros? Yeah.
A great launch makes me hungry for lunch. Should be plenty of hot dogs now that the loogies are gone. What do you say? <laughs> what else? Rock and rock! I guess this means I can take the rest of the day off with pay. This is not what I consider being on guard. Oh, lighten up, Rob. Oh, we're still watching the armory. Yeah, we're just having us a nice, friendly little tractor pull contest whilst we maintain our vigilance. Of course, if you think your bike can't handle it. Handle it? My bike? <laughs> right. You just worry about that tin can of yours, Hotshot. First one of the big tree wins. All right. <laughs> on three. Come on, Walt. Do it like I know you can. One, two, three! Big behind gives you traction. Nope. All the credit goes to my sweet darling. Oh, what's that? It's Carbuckle. That depraved deviant. Man, I knew that flatulent felon Limburger would want that gas. Cut loose, bros. Let's rock. And rock. Mission was successful, I trust. Gas to the gaseous, your wholesome fragrant mess. Ah, yes. Amazing, isn't it? This one little canister contains enough top secret knockout gas to make Chicago sleep for 24 hours. All the time I need to gut it. So good night, sweet citizen. I do hope you have pleasant dreams, because by the time you awaken, there will be no more Chicago. Rush the field. Time to play hardball.
much to ask. A city here, a city there. I'm a patient man. It would all add up. But no! Always those blasted biker mice bring me down. Tarbuncle! <laughs> yes, your Wisconsin's finest. I require cheering up. <laughs> Show me something truly nasty. Something evil. Something diabolical. Something that will rid me of those nefarious mice. Oh, yep, I think you got the formula perfect, Doc. <laughs> what are you doing? My newest invention, your laughing bovineness. I call it Toxic Goo. All we have to do is spill it anywhere we want, and the land is ruined. Then you just volunteer to clean it up, and you can dig up all you want. My dear Dr. Carbuncle, allow me to point out a tiny flaw in your reasoning. If the land is ruined... Why would I want it? Observe. I just... Sprinkle on a little of this special powder and... Voila! Whoa, hello, Betty. That was fun. <laughs> Do it again. Quite brilliant, Doctor. Thank you. But useless. What? Those rampant rodents will simply arrive and ruin everything as they always do. Those blasted bikes of theirs are too fast, too powerful, too ingenious to fight. If only I could obtain one and learn its marvelous secrets. <gasps> That's it. That's the solution. We'll set a trap. A toxic trap. <laughs> Ah, this is great. Yeah. I mean, even us interplanetary heroes need time off. There you go, darling. Pretty as a one-two punch. Hey, guys. Speaking of knockouts... You guys coming in? The water is great. Whoa! What the... Grease pit. What's that overlude lug nut up to? I don't know, but if Lindbergh is behind it, you know it reeks. Let's ride. <laughs> They're all rats. Those guys are just more obvious about it. <gasps> all is in readiness here, Cheesemeister. When the biker mice show up, they'll be riding right into a trap. Yo, yank the tank! It's working. We're holding it. To the line, sweetheart. So, that now she's want to play tug of war, huh? I'll show them. Can't hold it much longer. This is a real drag. What the? Hey, it's that mouse that talks real stupid like. I'll give him an enlightening education. Get to safety, little boss. I don't want your paint getting scratched. But guess where the next one goes? I'm gonna blast your bike. You low-down 
Dispose of those vermin, would you? Consider them crushingly conquered, your cherry richness. Hey, is it just the economy or is housing getting tighter? We gotta stop this thing, or we're gonna be two all mouse patties. Special sauce, lettuce, cheese. No cheese, no cheese. I hate cheese. Oh, oh no. no. My bros. Two more seconds. And it's fuzzy flapjack time. Nobody hurts my bros. Moto, 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 are you all right? Guys, Moto's in bad shape. of the goo, but he's pretty weak. My bike! Ah! This is weak? Oh, hey, easy, big fella. He's delirious. Hold him. Moto, Moto, listen to me. It's gonna be all right. You're going to be fine, but you have to rest. My bike. Limburger's got my bike. We'll get it back, bro. You promise? Biker's honor. Big lug. What has that raking fish face done to you? So what are we waiting for? Let's go dice the big cheese and get Mono's ride back. Now, Lindbergh will be expecting that. I'm sure he's got a full squad of wrench heads on guard. And without Moto, we've lost a key player. We gotta bide our time. Mm, that stinking cheese ball better not hurt my bike. Hey, 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 big fella. Your bike can take care of herself. <laughs> yeah, one thing for sure, she ain't being a model prisoner. I've been having difficulty. <gasps> it's alive. It's a mad thing, I tell you. We can't catch it. Don't be silly, my dear doctor. You're simply incompetent. Letting those wretched rodents escape you. Oh, look out! It's going to attack! Nonsense. It's merely a machine reflecting its owner's personality. And that shall be its downfall. Observe. What I have here is the most odious enemy of all rock and roll enthusiasts. Polka music. Distraction, a little Lawrence Well. Oh, I'm deeply awed, your cheesiness. You are truly moldy to the core. It's a gift. Something I was hatched with. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a press conference to attend. Oh, and Carbuncle? Yes, your polyunsaturatedness. 
I'll want to start digging immediately. Make sure there is a sufficient amount of that powder which dissolves the toxic goo. You can count on me, your wimp cleaner. Yes, unfortunately I have no choice. My fellow citizens, as you know, an unexplained toxic spill is even now contaminating one of our fairest waterfront parklands. Unexplain, huh? I'd like to unexplain his. As you know, I have always had special plans for this city. Yeah, to turn it into a giant crater. And so, in the interests of the public good, I now volunteer the Limburger Toxic Cleanup Corporation to take care of this tragic spill. Of course, it will require a great deal of expensive digging, but I am prepared to shoulder the cost. It would be a tragedy to put Chicago in the hole. As it were. <laughs> Gotta stop him. And get my bike back. I've got an idea. But we need that knockout gas. Let's get back to the garage and hurry. Before the city's best park takes a one-way ride to Plutarch. The park's dead ahead, you goons. Get ready to dig a whole lot of fun. Limburger's not taking any chances. i never seen so many ugly bozos with blasters. You gotta get my bike. If Carbuncle so much as dings a fender out. Easy, bro. We'll get it. We'll get it. Charlie's got a great plan. It's a dangerous plan. That's why I like it. Listen up, then. I've hooked up the sleep gas canister to this button. Fire it when you get inside. Yeah, yeah. Get to the good part, sweetheart. And this is your new supercharger. Getting warm. It will give you 30 seconds of supersonic speed. Got that? Yeah! <laughs> Can this girl cook or what? Listen to me. 30 seconds. No more. After that, boom. The supercharger goes up like a bomb. And if it's still on the bike, so do you. Impending catastrophe. That's why I love it! He's a wild man. How has he lived this long? Well, if he takes more than 30 seconds, he won't live much longer. If you're there now, and just hold still, if this won't hurt a bit, I'm just going to cut you open and look at your brain. <laughs> what? Not again? Yeah, baby! Let's shift into third! Last! Not this time! Please! Second to spare. Hardly even exciting. Now it's up to Throttle and Moto. Oh, you know he's loving this. Come on, Throttle, kick it! My bike's in there! We're not exactly in control in this situation, are we? Somehow, we gotta find a way to take those creeps out. Not us. What do you mean? This ain't our fight. Go get him, little hoss. Like if she whipped tail or what? Yeah, she's the best. But we still gotta do something about grease pit and that toxic goo. Hey, she's trying to tell us something. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, I know my bike. What you saying, darling? Well, I'll be darned. Told you. 
Time to save the park, bros. And just to keep Limburger too busy to stop us, let's yank and trade! You see the digging crews from the Limburger Industries getting ready to clean up this mysterious toxic spill. Tragically, this environmentally necessary cleanup will result in the destruction of this beautiful parkland. Wait! Something's happening! Gentlemen, something amazing has just happened. Three mysterious motorcyclists have just caused the toxic spill to vanish. The park appears to be saved. So, hey, are we good or what? The best. Always have been. Always will be. You did good, Bike. You did real good. Now, let's rock and ride! Blast them hard right in hamsters. When the big cheese finds out about this, the mice are in for us. What the? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm in a bad mood. A very bad mood. I need something to cheer me up. And I know just what would do it. Right where you wanted. Oh, Gracie Finger Gibbon. If you pathetic poltroons have concluded your little display of ineptitude, the ore train appears to be on time. What? Uh... Huh? My dear obsequious Grisbit, if I had wanted you in orbit, I'd have kicked you there myself. Now go man that switch. Whoa, good job, huh, boss? Whoa. Yet another ingenious plan, your cream cheesiness. Yes. Why soil ourselves digging when I can simply steal a whole train load of iron ore? That train will enter the transport tunnel and be instantly transported into space for delivery to Plutarch. A brilliant plan, if I do say so myself. It simply can't fail. Uh, uh, but... uh, not now, dear boy. I'm enjoying myself. That brilliant plan of yours? Yes. What of it? It just got infested with my bad friend time jamming at the stage <laughs> Well, if it isn't the ubiquitous bike of mice. Travel ahead, travel behind. A grease pit, if you would, please. Fire on them! Hey! There is trouble ahead. 
ahead. Mr. Mr. Train, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, now the big G's is all wet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you meddling mice! I shall fry your tails for this! Mark my words! Oh. You can try. But it ain't gonna happen. Cause we're the baddest mamma jammas in the universe! Again, we have failed miserably. But why? Why are these infernally infuriating biker mice so darn difficult to defeat? Hmm. Perhaps it's their unique diet of hot dogs and root beer, combined with the... Don't try my patience, you hydrocephalic headcase. I want answers. And you, you were supposed to be my main mouse mauler. Yet you continuously permit them to pummel your posterior. Gee, boss, that ain't fair. It's always three against one. Now, if they was alone... Well, they're not alone. Alone? Ah, alone. Yes, that gives me an idea. The reason those biker mice are virtually unbeatable is that they work so well as a team. In order to conquer them, they must be divided. Uh, you mean like kind of in little tiny pieces? No, you oily oaf. We need to make them fight for themselves, get them to split up. And then, when each mouse is alone, we'll get them one by one. But, boss, them biker boneheads are best buddies. How are we going to get them to fight each other? Carbuncle? I know just the near do well for the job. Your fragrant fulsomeness, a super villain with a hostility ray. Oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> I'll set the transport chamber for that master of nastiness, that duke of disaster, Evil Eye Weevil, and his sidekicks, the pukes of hazard. 
No, no, not evil eye weevil. He's a grandstanding, arrogant, hostile maniac. He's completely out of control. Maybe we'll even see Elvis the King while we're here. Yeah. Oh, wasn't I great? How's my hair? Perfect. And I'm still in one piece. Sort of. Oh, well, yes, hi. I need more coffee, FYI. Could you fill up my driver's license renewal and the invitations to Jen, Mike, and Morgan's birthday, as in V-Day parties? Excellent. Oh, and love, while you're at lunch, pick up an anniversary gift for Kathy. Excellent. Oh, and yes, tell Bob if he doesn't get here on time. Shut up! Take this job and shove it! Your hostility, Ray, appears to be deliciously effective. Might I inquire how long the effect will last? Only a couple minutes. Well, that's all it takes for a major fight, right? Wonderful. All I need to do now is to lure those mice from their rat hole. Mm. Perhaps I'll announce to the media that I'm going to destroy that wildlife refuge. But, boss, won't that make people mad? It's a ploy, you pathetic palooka. A ploy to lure out those meddling mice. Oh, oh, a ploy. Right. I knew that. What's a ploy? Oh. Cow, all yours, Throttle. Oh. Yeah, this game is kind of rough on the old antennas. Ooh. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Yo, Billy moves in for the interception. Watch where you're going! Oh, watch it yourself. I had a ball. Oh, oh chill. It's a friendly game, remember? Yeah, you're right. It's cool. Sorry, Benny, my man. Uh. I didn't mean to wreck the game. <clears throat> oh, no, it's my fault. <clears throat> now, I tell you, you get a free kick. <clears throat> well, we interrupt this rocket set to bring you a bummer news flash, buddies. The big cheese, Lawrence Limburger, has just announced his plans to clear cut the Limburger Wildlife Preserve. Looks like wipeout time for our furry friends in the forest. Later, bros! Now that really stinks! Ow! Yeah, just like Lindbergh. Nobody hurts furry friends while we're around. Let's go cream his cheese. Yeah! Darn it. I gotta head back to the garage. Hey, sweetheart. Room for two on my bike. <laughs> yeah, you and your ego. <laughs> I guess she told you, lover boy. Funny. Let's roll. Save that for us, guys. I'll catch up with you later. It's time to rock and ride! <laughs> it seems the bait was successful. Our little lab rats are headed right for the trap. And from this trap, there will be no escape. <laughs> Those motorcycle riding morons are about to undergo their greatest test. A test of friendship. A test I've ensured they shall fail. <laughs> No, bros, something seems to be wrong here. You mean like trees? Yeah. If Limburger was gonna cut this place down, you'd think it would have started by now. Well, maybe I had to change a heart. He doesn't have a heart. No, I think it's something else. Like what? A trap. Oh, are you sure you guys don't want to try it? <laughs> the thought of it just makes us sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You weenies don't have the stomach for it like I do. <laughs> well, it's great being the best daredevil in the galaxy. <laughs> Just burns me up when he does that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a lean, mean, hostility machine. Oh, something ugly just flew by. What, like your face? No, like your mom's. Yeehaw! Time to bail out, baby! 
Uh, hey, what'd you weenies do with my parachute? Oh shoot, we forgot to pack his shoes. Dang me, he's gonna be so mad, he won't take us to Graceland. Yeah. Oh, still in one piece. Sort of. So what was that stupid thing anyway? Uh, who the heck cares, you moron? Maybe a UFO. Shut up, you ugly idiot. UFOs have white light, hey, not red light. Hey, stupid one. I'm thinking you're so great when all you are is a lame green clown. Shut up! Don't you just shut up? You're bugging me. Excuse me, Mr. Big Shot. Yeah, who put a knucklehead like you in charge anyway? Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, shut up, Charlie! What? Listen up, hothead. Why don't you just take your temper tent from somewhere else? I'm sick of you always spouting off. Well, I'm sick of you always ordering us around. I'm out of here. Good riddance! And you, if you had half a brain behind that muscle, you'd be dangerous. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah? Well, the next time you need muscle in a fight, you're on your own, pal. What's the matter with you guys? Something is very wrong here. Oh, just wait till I catch you little pukes. Yeah! When something stinks, you can bet Limburger's at the bottom of it. I gotta find the guys. Hey, you gear grinding goof! If this icebox was moving any slower, it'd be a glacier! Get off the road before I. Whoa! What happened? Hey, I'm sorry. Uh... Ride free, citizen! Oh, man, something's wrong. Something is really wrong here. Man, I gotta find Vinny and Moto and figure out what happened to us. Where am I gonna find them? By now, they could be anywhere. Excellent work. For once, the mice stand alone. Hey, you dog tick! Let us go, you matey! Oh, pop down, you pipsqueak, before I pack my pipes with a perrier. Business before pleasure, my dear evil. Cool! <laughs> now, just let me check my hair. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Each of those mice are alone now, but you three are not. Bring me those biker mice, or I'll send you all home on tricycles. <laughs> hey, little doggies. I'm sure you're happy. I bet you never had your friends say mean stuff to you. And I bet you never said mean stuff to them, either. I don't know what happened. But I'm not gonna let it lose me my best friends. I'm gonna find them and make up with them right now. Oh, well, isn't that just sweet like honey? But the problem is, Mouse, you gotta stick around for my first act. Oh, yeah. It's gonna knock you out, baby. Show him, pukes. Hey, Mouse Boy, ever eat a pine tree? Eh, many parts are edible. <laughs> yeah. Check the scoreboard hangout. Throttle! I've been looking all over for you. Something's happening. Yeah, I know. Have you seen Vinny and Moto? I'd like to talk to them. We kind of had words. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Limburger's imported a new villain called Evil Eye. Evil Eye Weevil? You've heard of him? Yeah. 
He had a stunt show on Mars for a while. He's also got a hostility ray. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would explain a whole lot. Hold the fort, Charlie girl. I gotta ride. I'll go with you. No. Believe me, Charlie. I appreciate that. But this is between me and the guys. Two vexatious vermin down. One to go. The boss? One's all it takes, you rancid cheese ball. Especially if it's throttle. What are you rodents implying? B -b 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 Mr. Lemberger, sir? Not now, dear boy. I'm gloating. Boss? What? That's what they mean. Ah! Get them! Get off me, you big gob of grease! You broke my leg! I'll set it for you, honey. Don't move, Slimeball. Oh, your cheese souffle. Too much bad karma in here, bro. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's rock and ride! Control yourself, you bumper and poltroon! Oh, shut up, you reeking pork ball! Yeah, yeah! And by the way, next time you guys yank my leg, I'm gonna use it for low drinks! We were just doing our job, you bully! Yeah! We wouldn't even work for you if you weren't Elvis's alien brother! Oh, I never wanted to hire you little pukes in the first place! Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. I was just thinking, you got any use for this? Yep, just the ticket. We're back. We're back. We're mice. And we're mad. <laughs> Time to rock and ride. Oh, please, no. I'm very. This has been a most distressing day. Well, that takes care of Lambert. <laughs> At least till he finds his way back. Switching on him won't take too long. Hey, check it out. We can still catch the Chicago Nubs game. Yeah, I can't wait. They're my favorite team. I can think of one I like better. Yeah, who? The Biker Mice from Mars. <laughs> What a revoltingly charming example of the urban underclass. Grease Pit, 
Yeah, boy. A set about making it worthy of condemnation. Would you please? Okay. Destroy it! Oh, yeah, 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 you got it, boys. Oh, and by the way, dear boy, places like this are often rodent-infested. A perfect place to set up Operation Mousetrap, wouldn't you say? Gotcha, boss. <laughs> That's a surefire mouse attractor. Now, for the real thing. Oh, Charlie, do we gotta do this? Yeah, come on, babe. They didn't cover floor scrubbing back in cool school. You're the ones who spilled the transmission fluid. Besides, I'm busy. Emergency, emergency. Fires and explosions at 15th and J Street. They're playing our song. Come on, bros, let's ride. Oh, no, you don't. This time, I'm getting in on the action. I got it. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Charlie girl, but this is a job for men, studly men. Such as ourselves. Especially me. Oh. Hold the board, babe. We'll be back. Let's rock and ride! Oh, those mice! Whoa, someone sure did a number on this place. Yeah, and I bet that number adds up to one big fat cheese. Limburger! Help! Someone help Guys, me! Guys, there! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's trapped. Come on! Someone's been pulling our tails. Ain't nobody trapped here. I can fix that, Mousies. Can't move. Now we're trapped. Talk about your mail bonding. <laughs> Say, doll, want to watch me stomp some goons? Mono, see if you can get those fire trucks in here. No problem. Feels right at home. Mama! Sweetheart, you are awesome. Whoever you are. Uh, I 
wanna go home? Whoa, showed him, huh? Dom? Dom? Where'd you go? Hey, Charlie, we're back. Oh, the place looks great, babe. Any more of that root beer left? Did you save the city again? Or did you doubt? Hey, not only did we save the city, but we met the single most awesome banker babe in the entire universe. Whoopee. Hey, she looked cool. She looked rad. She looked cool. She, she looked, looked rad. rad. She looked cool. And she looked rad. I don't really want to Oh, boy. A grease pit. You screwed it up again! Sorry, boss. Well, I have no time to deal with you now. Plutok is in desperate need of raw petroleum products. Now get out! Carbuncle! Yes, your molding act. I need oil. Lots of oil. By Thursday. Hmm. The local refinery should have more than enough your kingly curdledness. <laughs> and I know just the fellow to help us get it. Corroder Cody, at your service, partner. Corroder Cody has the unique ability to dissolve metal at a touch. That refinery will be slagging. You! You! Hmm. Will this talent of yours work on other metals, like motorcycles? Sure as shoot, partner. Excellent. This looks like the place. All right, partners. Let's start spilling oil. Mayday, Mayday, big trouble at Refinery Station 7. Mayday! know they did a Beatles tune? That's no song. That's a distress call. The indicators say it's coming from the refinery. Let's go. Uh, no dice, Charlie. Mm. This is macho muscle he-man work. Remember? I noticed you left the part out about brains. Hey, it's for your own good, Charlie. You might get hurt. Say, maybe that masked motorcyclist lady will be there. Oh, yeah. Hey, if she can do it, why can't I? <laughs> <It's> cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Charlie, we think you're the best motorcycle mechanic this side of Mars. Masked motorcyclist is really something special. Look, let's face it, sweetheart. It takes some Mondo motorcycle madness to pull off the stunts she does. I hope you're listening to yourself. I'd love to record this. Hey, speaking of recording, you got your camera, Vinny? Oh, you bet, bro. Gotta start chronicling my exploits for posterity. Okay, enough talk, guys. Let's ride! <laughs> oh, what a bunch of wrench heads. You boas don't have much use for doas. My, my, my. Looks like the old gang again, plus one. Ha! I didn't know you could add, bro. Huh. I may not know everything about math, but I know how to total things. I think it's time to knock these mangy prairie dogs down the side. <sighs> Feels like Limburger sitting on me. Say bye-bye to the rat race, Mousy. <laughs> Ah, pretending you see something behind me? You won't catch me falling for that old trick. Ah! I gotta get some health insurance. Hey! Hey, wait! I wanna thank you! <laughs> She's crazy.
easy for me. I can tell. Whoa, ma'am, that's one righteous horse you got. I'd sure like to check out your bike sometime. Wow, what a piece of work. And the driver's not bad either. Time to vaporize them vermin. Ooh, wow, that thing's nastier than a shark with a machine gun. Then we better go fishing. Wahoo! You're messing with the baddest mamma jammas from Mars, you metal meathead! Yeah! What he said? Quit hosting around, big bag! Ventilate them dang bodies! Keep your hands off at the control! You keep your hands off at the Strolling for the big one. Let's make this look good, bro. Come on, I got a babe to impress. Yo, they're gonna rev us. Chicken! <laughs> Get the way, dog. <laughs> Woo, we put the live one. Let's get real. <laughs> hey, this one's a keeper. Get us out of here, you idiot! We're too heavy. I gotta dump the load. Wahoo! There she blows! Where's that rocket lever? This is part! Stop touching things! We gotta get out of here! Dang! Charlie will never believe us about the one that got away. Hey, speaking of which, where's that masked motorcyclist? Oh, oh man, she split again! Oh, maybe I'm just too cool and too handsome and stuff. <sighs> Makes her nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your incredible humility. Mm-hmm. Could be, you know, could be. <sighs> Boy's got an ego bigger than Limburger's rear end. But at least I had this baby running. Let's go strike some prints of my new princess. <laughs> About time. I have other things to do, you know, besides... Oh, yeah. What a night. What a fight. What a dog. What a bike. What a bunch of... So, I suppose Ms. Wonderful was there again tonight. <laughs> was she ever? Yep, that lady can cook all right. But you know, one thing makes me curious. How does the masked motorcyclist always know? Oh, hey, these things are cold. Well, excuse me. Maybe you should ask your hot bim bet buddy to warm them up. Oh, holy moly. Something we said? Failure again. If I don't obtain a vast quantity of oil soon, the high chairman will render it from my hide. I must find another source of oil. Uh, you mean like an oil field, Buzz? Mmm, oil. Crude oil. <gasps> I've got it! An oil field! I'll go straight to the source. Yes! Truly, I am a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Carbuncle! You bellowed your malodorous nest. I'd like an oil field, Carbuncle. All of it. No problem, old rounded one. As a matter of fact, I have just this moment imported Corroda Cody's Rustmobile. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. It should enable us to destroy every derrick in an oil field, creating a huge spill for you to uh, fuck up and ship to Plutarch. Excellent. And if those blasted biker mice send their cycle sidekick barge in again, them hombres will see how much fun their pretty bikes are when they're nothing but puddles of slag.
<laughs> oh, man. That masked motorcyclist is a mean motorcycle mamma jamma, huh? <laughs> Heck, she's almost as cool as me. <laughs> almost. Oh, your move, Vincent. And <laughs> no way she could just jump that bike of hers. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, that was my last man. You think that's jumping? Watch this. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump! Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> Who says Chinese checkers is a quiet game? I've noticed that none of the games we play are quiet. I hope we didn't wake up Charlie. Nope. Still asleep. Hey, what's that? That's Moore's code. What's it say, Moto? It says... Beep, 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 beep. She wants us to follow her. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow her anywhere. Oh, sweetheart. Ooh, should we tell Charlie we're going? Nah, she's out like a light. Let's keep it that way. Let's rock and ride. Hey, it's the biker mice. And that giddy friend of theirs. That guy's rose. All the oil in the world won't stop his rust. Get to work, Cody. Greasefoot and I will handle these wretched rodents. You got it. Y'all keep them busy. And me and Rusty, you'll take out the main Derek. Once that thing blows, y'all gonna have more oil than you ever imagined. <laughs> Monsters ain't so slick. Come on, guys. Uh, and, and you too, man. Yeah, you could shred with the best of them, babe. Heads up, Rose. Cody's almost to the main Derek. We best take our leave. When that Derek blows, the resulting wave of oil will wash away these vermin for good. <laughs> now, let's give old Grease Pit a barrel of laughs. <laughs> we'll have him rolling. Oh, yeah, take this, Mousy. Time to blow your stack, big fella. <laughs> what in tarnation? I don't think this would be a good time to ask Mr. Limboy to get a raise. Well, that should hold him for a while. Bros, look! Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, wake up! It's the masked motorcyclist. She's hurt, her helmet's melted. Come on, we're trying to get it off. We need your help. Charlie! Whoa! <laughs> Charlie? Hi, guys. Surprise. Charlie? But, but, she, but she was, you are. I'm just ordinary, huh? Would just get in the way. Wasn't that how you put it? Uh-oh. You could have told us. I did tell you, you adorable fur brains, but you never listened. It was my new prototype bike for Washington. I figured I could test it out <laughs> and prove something to you lummoxes at the same time. Well, you did that all right. Me and my big mouth. Yep. Your foot fits inside it very well, if I do say so. Hey, we owe you a big apology, babe. At least. But Charlie, I, I mean, the reason we didn't want you with us is because you might get hurt, and you did. I don't want you getting hurt. Moto, you and the guys all run risks. The point is, I didn't get hurt because I'm a woman. 
I got hurt because I did something dangerous. Oh, uh, and I think I'll retire for a while. Well, you still proved your point. I guess none of us should judge a book by its cover. Even if it is leather-bound. Please. Say, but what about Limber? It's a shame to think he'll get away with all that destruction. Now, on the way back, a cinema package. Special delivery. Oh, what's this? No! 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 Ah! Oh. Perhaps I should get into a new line of work. Yeah.